it's quite long and this requires a lecture and I think I covered this issue in uh, our workshop in Chennai called uh, Half Deen and we spoke about the Islamic concept of marriage and it was yani, inshallah a, a beneficial lecture in, in short what is being practiced in the subcontinent when the groom to be proposes and he gets gifts there is a difference between gifts and conditions I've heard from some families saying that the groom says that uh, listen I need to be the heir of the family business I need a Toyota Corolla 19 uh, 2017 model with a, a sunroof I want this uh, uh, and this and this and he and let's he lists a list of demands this is totally prohibited the money he's taking is totally haram for him he said sheikh it's a gift no it's not a gift this is not this is extortion you are forcing them and twisting their hand any muslim sunni salafi practicing brother he should demand that the father of the girl does not pay a single penny if he's the man but if he's not a man then yes you can ask whatever you want men don't allow this men they are the ones who open the house the furniture they are responsible for everything that is ha taking place in the wedding etc so this is the dowry that men take is totally prohibited as for the age difference every man chooses whatever he wants you cannot come to someone who's 20 years of age and said marry this divorcee no the sunnah he marry, does not marry a divorcee or marry this widow or marry someone who's five years or ten years older than you why should I it's a, an issue of supply and demand as long as there are women that I can choose from I have the right to choose whomever I wish now the woman herself will not accept any man that comes to her why is that she has her own conditions so touche it happens here and it happens there